How's it going, YouTube? It's APOC, and I'm back with another Lens Studio template. This template is super customizable, and it is playing off the big trend of people doing this random, like, cycle through a bunch of images, and then you open your mouth or do something, and it makes it stop on that image, and that's kind of what you are. Like, what meme are you? What Disney character are you? Things like that. I turned that into a template, and oh my gosh, guys, this is the most customizable template I have ever made in my life. Um, I spent so much time making sure I could give you guys the ability to easily edit everything. So let's go through top to bottom of your objects list. What's in the template? The first thing is this image holder. So this is the image I have on the forehead here. You can just drag this around to change the position. You can drag these to change the size and you don't have to touch much more in there. Below that, I have the retouch added. I dim the values down a little bit so it's not too strong because I don't like it strong. Um, but feel free to turn them back up if you want to look like that. Um, but otherwise, you might want to leave them a little bit lower. Now, next thing, ignore this camera one frame. It's just because of the render targets that are hiding the hints in the actual recording. So you don't need to worry about that as a beginner. But your hint text, you do want to worry about probably. So this is controlling this hint that pops up right there. And you can change the color, you can change the position, you can change the sizing if you want. Right now it's setting size to fit, so it's dynamic. Um, but do whatever you want right there. Next is the controllers. So it's controlled by behavior scripts, actually, to start and stop this. So this is the restart option. So what event is going to make it so it restarts after it stops? Right now it's set to tap, and then you literally just follow the behavior script guide. I'll link in the description to set this up. Just make sure your response type is set to send custom trigger and your trigger name matches the trigger name you're gonna set right there. Uh, by default, it's set to random image start. Below that is your stop one. So this is what's actually triggering it to stop. Right now it's set to mouth open. Same thing is here. Make sure your response type send is send custom trigger and your trigger name is random image stop. Now into the controller, we have a few cool features in here. So what the script is doing for our more advanced users, real quick, um, it's just setting the texture on this material. So you can apply that material to your 3D objects or just replace that material with something. Right now it's an unlit material. If you wanna use a PBR or something, just replace it. It's just gonna change the um, base texture of that material. Now your images, it's an array of images right here that you add your images to. So. To do that, you just add value, click on that, and then find your image in your resources here. You can also click on that and then just drag your image up there. Now, the next thing is the change delay. So this is how long between each image um, or how long it waits to change to the next image when it's scrolling through them like this. You can turn it up real high. It's going to take a long time. You can turn it all the way down. It's going to glitch out because it's going so fast. Um, but just find whatever one you like and drag the slider and set it how you want. Your hint show time is how long this hint stays on the screen. So it's in seconds. Right now it's three seconds. I can turn it back down to one second, how I had it. I can make it zero and it's not even going to show up for long at all or at all really. Um, and then below this is your stop trigger name. So you don't have to touch these if you didn't touch them here. So this is uh, just matching up in here. So that's all that is. It's the trigger name for the behavior scripts when it sends custom trigger. Now your stop hint text is controlling this text. So if we add something to it here, you can see it's just controlling that hint right there. Um, same with the restart. It shows up after you stop it. So let's get this guy to open his mouth or someone to open their mouth so you'll see what happens. And it says tap the screen to restart. You can edit that text there as well. Next is the hint text object. So you don't really have to touch this, but if you're more advanced user and you're doing something crazy, you can edit what object, um, what text object it's using. And once again, all the text stuff is editable in here as well. Resizing it, coloring it, drop shadow, outline, everything in here is customizable except for the text. You customize that on the controller. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoy the template. If you have any questions and you need any help on it, drop a comment below. And I'll put the download link, the guide for the behavior script, and the guide for the text all in the description. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.